iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh my gosh. We oh, decided, my flashlight. <laughs> oh, one of the features of the 11 Pro Max is that the flashlight just comes on randomly. Yeah, it's so great. It doesn't do that, hopefully. <laughs> so we wanted to make a video comparing the iPhone 11 Pro Max, longest named phone ever. I always say it wrong too. The iPhone Pro 11 Max. Ah, that's not it. <laughs> no. So we wanted to make a video that compared the cameras, because that's like the big thing, right? Yeah. With a professional camera. We have a Sony a7R 2 What we shot on today was a 16 to 35 G Master 2.8 lens. Takes incredible photos. So we yeah. just wanted to see if we could compare apples to apples, if that's even, ah, ah, no pun intended, but hey. We wanted to just <laughs> compare the two and see how they stacked up against each yeah. other. Specifically geared towards Instagram. Although I do photography and he does videography, we wanted to make this specifically for Instagram to let you know if you are an influencer or you just want to take really good photos for Instagram. Because most people on Instagram, if they're bloggers or whatever, they usually use a camera, a DSLR or whatever of some sort, and they edit on their laptop typically. Honestly, it's a lot of work. So if you could easily just take photos on your phone, edit them on your phone and post them right away, how much easier would that be? So that's why we wanted to gear this video towards Instagram specifically creating content or just if you wanna be able to just take really good photos and seeing how it stacks up to yeah. the Sony or just maybe can't cameras in general. Also talking about the iPhone Pro, iPhone Pro, see I can't even see it. Uh, uh, so <laughs> annoying. We also made a vlog specifically filmed only with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Gosh, that is a long name. Yeah, to show the quality <laughs> of the video in a bunch of different realms. It just kind of takes you through our day yesterday, which was- Shooting all of these photos. Shooting all these photos, shooting a couple videos that we have. So also check out that video if you want to see the video side of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Ooh. So let's go ahead and get started with these photos. This is in no particular order. And yeah. we just want to say, like, we're not expecting the iPhone to, like, blow us out of the water. We just want to see how it stacks up. So there will be things like, obviously, it's not going to be as good right. as a $2,200 lens on a $3,000 camera. So, but who knows? Maybe <laughs> who knows? we'll be impressed. Like, we'll, yeah. we'll see. First photo, I just want to say real quick, the ones that I should be shot with the camera, they are raw photos. So there's a lot of flexibility, a lot more dynamic range. You can manipulate the colors so much better. It's just you have a lot of options when you're shooting in RAW. Obviously the 11 doesn't shoot in RAW, so it's a JPEG photo. So it still edits really well, but you just can't manipulate the colors as much. So I tried to do my best editing them. The same camera ones, I edited on the laptop in Lightroom desktop. The phone ones I edited on Lightroom mobile. So I should say that this is a preset that I use that I've kind of curated that I like, it's not really perfect, but it's just something, this is what I usually use for Instagram. So right here, we're looking at the before photos. Right off the bat, you can see like the major noticeable differences mm -hmm. is you have like crazy depth of field going yeah. on with Sony photos on the right and then the Apple photos on the left. Which I would like to say though, I don't think we did this yesterday when we were shooting these. I think on portrait mode, you can actually adjust the aperture. So you maybe could get more depth of field if you would have shot this in portrait mode. These are all just shot oh, in regular. The coloring. Is, yeah, the unedited version is, is not gonna be anything impressive. So we're gonna mm -hmm. just switch it over. So these are the edited photos. Mm -hmm. Again, right out the gate, you can see the, the Sony has like a lot of definition kept right. in all the, the darker areas. You still have that depth of field. Mm -hmm. Overall, is isn't that bad actually. No. Like looking at the sharpness and the detail, it's actually pretty good. The highlight, highlights are a little bit better. Again, it's just yeah, a I mean, if you look, thing. <laughs> if you just look at my leg, my uh, calf shin area looks really blown out and white. Yeah. But I mean, I was able to turn down the highlights a little bit more and it soften it with yeah. the camera photo rather than the iPhone. But I think honestly, if I were to turn down the magenta a little bit on that one, they would match a bit better. But this is just comparison. It's yeah. softer, it's nicer, but honestly, I would still post the the iPhone one on Instagram. Like I yeah. still think it's good. Yeah, they both look super good. I think where the, the big difference is, and we'll probably see this in all the photos, you can look when you zoom in. This is where the, the real detail starts yeah. to show the difference between the two. So zoomed in pretty far, obviously you can see like we have very low noise happening in all the mm -hmm. shadows. And this is a grain on it too. So if I yeah. didn't have zero grain on it, it probably wouldn't even be yeah. as noisy. And you can see like detail in her hair, all this up here, it, it's pretty much retained. Yeah. Whereas we zoom in that far on here, 
It's you can already crazy. tell the the loss of detail in her hair, mm-hmm. uh, and you can see like it, it is a little bit noisy. There's obviously like a sharpening that's happening yeah. in the iPhone. It's fine, but from far away, you'd still, never be able to tell. Yeah, it looks still great. a solid photo. I think, like I said, it is definitely Instagram worthy. Yeah, and I think honestly, out of all the ones I edited, I think this one actually ended. There's two that ended up not turning out as good as I would have hoped. This one being one of them because the sun was so bright and shiny, and then the other one was because it was getting a little bit darker. Yeah. Well, but overall, let's well. let's rate it like maybe one through ten comparatively. To one through ten. Things. Okay, what would you give it? Honestly, I think I'd give it like a six. I mean, it's better than a five. Yeah. Probably like a little bit above average, but not yeah, like I'm with you. Perfect. I give it a six. But comparatively seven. to what a fifty-five hundred dollar setup with our Sony compared to a thousand dollar iPhone, it is it's good. Know, it's good. If you're not a professional photographer. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so next up, this is actually our first photo that we took. I'm actually really happy with how the iPhone came out. Obviously, the camera yeah. one, it's shot in RAW, so that coloring is a little bit different, whereas the iPhone one naturally, I think, looks better. But once we switch to the edited versions, I feel like, honestly, you can't really tell that big of a difference. But yeah. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this photo yeah. with the iPhone. I mean, right away. Like, I almost like it more. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, once you get rid of the depth of field, because this is right up against the wall. She sent me this earlier in the day on my phone, and I thought for sure I was going to be like, I'm going to be able to tell them apart because I do this. No problem. <laughs> but then I pulled up the photo and I was like, oh. And I went back and forth several times thinking, I don't think I can. And it wasn't until I like zoomed in mm-hmm. really far and like looked at the detail and the you colors and stuff it. that I was finally able to, oh, okay, yeah, I could tell. Yeah. But from, from afar, fully zoomed out like this, they it look looks good. really good. There's not much of a difference happening. Honestly, to me, just looking at them, it just looks like the filter or the preset or the coloring is just different. It doesn't even mm-hmm. seem like it's shot on a different camera to me. It looks yeah. like the same photo with separate presets. You know, even, I think the reason why I like the iPhone one a little bit, I wouldn't say more, but the one I, I actually do like it is because the coloring in my hair, I feel like it looks like the contrast that it was able to do yeah. on my phone looks better than it does right here. Obviously, and, the again, the dynamic range as well. Yeah. Your hair is a lot darker in the mm-hmm. iPhone picture. Do you think that the coloring of my skin is better on the camera or the iPhone? Yeah, I'll have to side with you. I like the iPhone better in this one. The only thing is the highlights. Like, if you look at my hand, you can see, like, my hand looks really blown out on the iPhone one. Oh, yeah. And my hand on the camera isn't as blown out. Okay, so this is the next one. Um, So I I think we kind of... The wide-angle lens of the phone was a little bit different than the wide-angle lens that we used. With the other two that we've shown so far, they weren't shot on the wide camera. They were just shot on regular. Oh. So this one was shot on the wide camera of the iPhone. I heard that from a few people that the wide-angle just didn't quite perform as well. It's still good. It's just not nearly as sharp. Okay, so here's the edited versions. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Honestly, this is, like I said in the beginning of the video when we are looking at the first photo, this is that second photo I was talking about where it's my least favorite of the iPhone. Okay. Just because if you look at my face... It's so noisy. Like oh, there is yeah. no sharpness. You completely lose me. Yeah, and this is this is like it just after sunset. It was not ideal conditions for a phone. Whereas you could see on a regular camera, you yeah, like you pretty much co- especially all comparing your these two photos. Honestly, I think with this photo, I wouldn't even post this one on Instagram, the iPhone one. Oh yeah, because to me, it does look like a phone photo, like poor quality. I actually like the coloring better of the iPhone than I do of the camera. So, so on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this photo? Honestly, like a four. Oof. I know, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm not impressed with it. Mm-mm. So I, I would give it a, I'd give it a five. It's average, like it's still really good. Okay, so this was the last photo of the day. And this is, I mean, this is just the unedited version, so we'll switch over. Right away you can see that the colors are significantly different. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is something you could probably edit as well. Yeah, it was late last night. (laughs) (laughs) So it was really hard to balance because if you take away reds to make it more orangey, you're going to be losing your lip color. If you take away the oranges to make it more red, you're going to be losing the skin tone. So it's kind of hard to play with oranges and reds sometimes because it does affect more than just like a shirt. I mean, you could definitely talk about the fact that um, her face isn't in focus in this one. My bad. I think that's it probably is, why uh, I like it so much. Is oh, that really? funny? <laughs> I feel like my skin looks so soft. It's just because it's out of focus. <laughs> so what would you rate this one? One to ten. I'd rate it like a seven. I'd rate it like a like a six or seven. All right. So here's the befores. Um, I feel like they're both pretty good. Let's go ahead and move to the afters because that's really what we care about (laughs) okay so right away same thing with the one um in front of the building my face is not as in as in focus 
Yeah. It looks pretty blurry. To me, the camera one, it definitely takes the cake for this photo. Because yeah. even editing the blacks and the shadows, even I was trying to make the dress look the same, but I lo- lost the boot yeah. that I'm picking up on the iPhone. This is also on the wide-angle lens. I think it, I'm such a huge fan of the wide-angle lens. Like, I hate giving it a bad score. So uh, I'm not willing to give it less than a 5. I'll give it another 6. I really like this photo. Honestly, I'd give it like a 7. Like, I'd still... I'd nice. still for averaging like sixes and sevens. All right. These are my favorite photos. I love both of them. So. Yeah. This yeah. is the before. Let's move so to the we'll after. The after. Even the editing, I'm really happy with both. Yeah. So this one, uh, she sent me earlier in the day as well and asked me to, you know, figure out which was which. And I honestly, mm-hmm. they look so similar. Yeah. Like again, it was the depth of field that kind of gave it away. Yeah. And the, de- the detail retention that gave it away. You could see... Already the the bleachers and the amount of contrast they've got going on over here versus the bleachers over here. It's much softer. And th- this photo is actually super, super impressive to me. Yeah, I, I love it. Honestly, and like I said earlier, it's more so the coloring. Obviously, when you're shooting raw, you're going to have more advantages mm-hmm. with coloring like the flooring and the background and stuff whereas the iphone there's not going to be as many things you can do with the coloring necessarily because you are shooting in jpeg 10 out of 10 i would rate it like uh eight or nine yeah it's super good okay last but not least this is the night mode test uh Mm -hmm. so it's the long exposure test surprisingly well wait before you go before you go away from the befores actually like if it was if we were not editing these at all i actually like the iphone one more so I'm really what do you happy. Think? I'm really happy <laughs> with how this turned out. Honestly, I I love I love both of them. I think I would I would have a hard time choosing which photo to post on Instagram. So here's the the couple things that I noticed. One that I don't know I don't know if you were just standing more still for the iPhone photo or what, okay. but your hand is yeah. a little bit blurry in this one for the long exposure. Yeah. But because this is night mode, it still does have to crank up its ISO a little bit, mm-hmm. so you can see. Lots yeah. of noise happening. Like, yeah. and, uh, there's not a great amount of detail, and in the detail, and if you, you go down to the skirt, you can and, see definitely like you lose all yeah, the detail like in the bottom of the skirt. Apart here, but or who's going in that far to see that kind of detail from this far out, from zoomed out, it looks great. And I actually like the darks in the yeah. in this part right here. I love looks that. So good, but you do have all this detail retained mm-hmm. in the long exposure over here. Yeah. So again. Like- Maybe we're comparing apples and oranges by, you know, doing a long exposure on a phone. Yeah. It's thoroughly impressive. Like, I would give this a solid 9. Yeah. Mine's like a 10, <laughs> honestly. So. 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 That is uh, just our quick comparison. We, yes. we spent the day playing with the iPhone and mm-hmm. shooting on our camera. To be honest, it's like, it's up there. It does a really good job. Like, yeah. I, we would both probably, I think we could say we'd be happy if we forgot our camera and mm-hmm. we needed to use the iPhone. Definitely. It does a really, really, does good, a really job. good job. Or if we're at a place where you can't take a camera and take professional photos. Yeah. Portrait mode is also very, very good. We did not talk about the portrait mode in any of these. Maybe that'll be a different video. Maybe. Overall, super happy with the phone, everything about it. So anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Yes. I know it's a simple one. We we enjoyed uh, testing things and mm-hmm. looking at all the, the pictures. So yeah. if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. Click the bell. Don't forget to check out the vlog that we filmed. Try and post every Monday, but every now and again, we like to stir things up and throw a few in there. So thank you guys for watching. We hope you like this. If you have the iPhone 11, let me know how you like it. Comment below. Thanks, babe, for spending your entire Saturday taking photos of me. Of course. You're the best. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.